just spent literally almost $300 in the grocery store. So eating out where? <laughs> okay, I will take that. I'm gonna take both of these. And I'm gonna be there. How you gonna take my combination? Going. I'm trying to figure out if stopping right there. Shout out! Happy Saturday, beautiful people. It is right after like 9 a.m. I literally just dropped Kayla off at work, and now, first of all, Let's just give it up because the sun is shining in Chicago and there was like this meme yesterday that was circulating because Chicago has not seen the sun in like 75 days or something, something crazy like that. And so I'm so happy that the sun is out. It is shining. It's really nice. It's like low 50s, which is cold-ish still, but not as cold as it has been. So yay for that. Um, okay, so I just got back in town on Wednesday and I'm going to be taking this weekend to kind of reset and get prepared for the upcoming week. So I need to unpack. I'm about to run to just a few stores. I need to go grocery shopping. And then I'm also going to stop by like Bath and Body Works to grab some candles. I want to go to like Marshalls, TJ Maxx. Um, I'll probably pop into Zara and H&M just to um, also get a few things for an upcoming work trip. So I am getting ready to head back out on business travel next weekend. And so I need to get just a few things because obviously working from home for the past two years, like I've been wearing loungewear during the day. So I don't have a whole lot of business casual clothes anymore. So I'm going to go grab a few pieces um, so I can kind of pack. So yeah, I'm going to unpack and then get ready to repack. Um, kind of refresh my space. Like I said, go to the grocery store. Tonight, we are going to, um, I actually forgot the name. I forgot the name, but it's like a drag show. And so I'm really excited about that because I have not um, been to one of those before. So I'm excited to do that with a few friends. And I think that's it so this is just again a little weekend reset vlog after travel these are some of the things that I do to kind of help get myself back um, in a routine and um, I just find that when I'm able to kind of spend a few spend a couple days just kind of getting it all together I'm able to kind of jump back into life quicker um, but also I am in the process of trying to design my life around more travel. And so with that, it's really important that when I do travel, it doesn't disrupt me from the things that I need to get done. Not saying that it's not okay to rest or take a break if you're tired, you know, you're jet lagged or whatever. But you know, a lot of the times for me, um, it feels like when I do travel and I get off my routine, it takes me like a week to get back on my routine. And then by then I could be traveling again. And so I just need to, you know, make sure that when I'm traveling, it's just an extension of what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm just in a different environment. That's kind of how I'm looking at it. And so again, this is what this vlog is going to be all about. So I'm about to head i don't even know what's open right now it's so early i could go to the grocery store and just knock that out mm, but i'm not like on stopped and got some coffee from duncan just an iced caramel macchiato with almond milk i'm, I'm a really basic coffee drinker i this is basically the only thing that i drink if i do drink coffee yeah Okay, but yeah, I'm not on my side of town. So I'm just trying to figure out, you know, 
I guess I can try to see if Bath and Body Works is open. Probably not. I feel like a lot of stuff opens at like 10. Yeah, they're closed. No! Um, let me check Marshall's. okay Marshall's opens at 9 30 which is like 20 minutes but I don't really want to wait <sighs> okay so I may head back to my side of the town and go grocery shopping just so I can kind of knock that out and then I also need to shoot some content today I need to do a few TikToks, so maybe I'll do that this morning, and then I'll spend the afternoon running errands. Luckily, my makeup is kind of done, so I might just touch it up, and then, yeah, I need to shoot a few TikToks. I need to do a couple YouTube videos, but I might do those tomorrow, and just do, like, all my short-form content today, like my TikToks, my reels, um... Okay, so that's the plan. So I'm going to drive back to my side of town, stop at the grocery store, and restock on a few things. And then I'm going to, um, what else am I going to do? Mm, sorry, it's a security officer that keeps like circling the parking lot. Um, but anyways, so I'm going to uh, head to the grocery store, go home. And kind of clean up and then shoot some content I'll go ahead and like unpack clean my room get some laundry started and then start shooting content and then maybe head back out around two o'clock ish yeah anyway so let's go ridiculous how expensive groceries are getting like just spent literally almost $300 in the grocery store so eating out where <laughs> granted this was one of those hauls where like we had to restock on like tissue and paper plates and cleaning supplies and you know personal products and things like that so typically you know those purchases only happen like once a month maybe twice a month so next weekend for example I know we won't spend spend nearly as much as we did this week one because I'm gonna be out of town the following week uh, but two because we'll need to just purchase like a few things like meat I went ahead and grabbed like three pounds worth of ground turkey and you know I grabbed um, some fish I grabbed some ground chicken I grabbed some chicken wings um, so we're, we're pretty good on food I literally still need to go to uh, Trader Joe's so I'm about to run really quickly across the street to Trader Joe's just so I can finish this task completely and then head home unload the car and then I'm going to I guess spend the rest of the afternoon recording some TikToks and then yeah, I'll head back out to do a little shopping a little later. So 
yeah I need to get a, um, a camera stand for my car because obviously I can't hold my camera in vlog it's not safe um, so I will child this woman is she gonna have to move her car right <laughs>
three o'clock and I just finished like doing a few TikToks. So I batched, um, I did a little bit of batch content shooting. So I was able to get done like four or five TikToks and tomorrow I'm gonna do, dedicate tomorrow to doing two YouTube videos and then I will be like in a good place for the next couple of weeks. So yay! I have learned that batch shooting really does help me stay consistent and on top of putting out content consistently it's really hard to create content and upload it in the moment so I want to set myself up for success this week by prioritizing getting some batch shooting out the way so now that that is all done I am going to head out to a couple of stores. I need to run by UPS to drop off my Mother's Day gift. Um, my sister was supposed to mail it this week while I was in Charleston and she did not do that. So it's gonna be late obviously, but it's the thought that counts. So I already told my mom, I'm like, your gift is gonna be late, I'm so sorry, but you're, you're getting something, don't worry, it's in the mail. So I'm gonna go drop that in the mail and then I'm gonna go grab me some lunch. I don't know if I'm where yet, but I am a little hungry. So I'm gonna go grab lunch and then I'm gonna run by a few stores. So I think this morning I mentioned like Marshalls and Zara and things like that. So I'm gonna go do that as well. I feel really good. I've had a really good productive Saturday. I was able to clean and get everything kind of reset. I'm actually gonna throw in I want to throw in a load of laundry, but I'm scared about having it sit for a couple of hours since I'm not going to be at home, but I think it'll be okay because I'll just do, I'll just put it in the laundry and then when I get back in a couple, no, no, no. I'm going to wait to throw my laundry in um, until I get back home because that way it only takes like 30 minutes so I can kind of start two loads before I head out tonight to go to the drag, the drag show. So... Yeah, that's my plan for the next little bit. So I'm about to get this trash together, get my shoes on, and get out the door. All right, y'all, so I just got to uh, Kayla's job, and I'm gonna go inside. I literally swung by Chick-fil-A and just got me some fries, because it's literally 4.30 and, we're, and I'm gonna make dinner. Tonight I'm gonna make some HelloFresh. So I didn't want to get anything that was going to be too heavy, but I wanted to get something because I'm hungry. Probably should have got nuggets so I could be eating protein instead of just carbs, but I wanted some fries, so. So I'm about to just chill in the car, literally for like 10 minutes, eat my food, and then I'm going to go inside. Um, I want to, from Sephora, I want to get some more foundation. I want to get some Fenty body butter and maybe another brush. And I think that's it for now. I did just do, um, if you watched my skincare journey starting over video, I did just do like a recent haul from the Sephora sale. So I got a few products from there that I'm starting to work through. I kind of want to get another cleanser as well, but I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm trying to be better about using what I have instead of just purchasing, 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 purchasing products. It's going to be there. You know what I mean? It's not going anywhere. So yeah, I'm about to eat these fries. Not they put Karen. I'm definitely not a Karen, so. And also, Polynesian sauce is the best Chick-fil-A sauce. It is the only one that I usually get. Um, I get usually get Polynesian with my fries and then barbecue sauce if I get chicken. But Polynesian sauce is, like I said, that's where it is at. Mm. Good and fresh. Okay.
Okay, y'all. I don't know if I haven't shopped in Marshalls in a long time or what, but I just ran in to try to find a few things for work, a few tops for work, and I was extremely disappointed. Like nothing, it, nothing. I pulled six yeah. shirts and I pulled six shirts and I did not like any of them. None of them were flattering. And I wasn't gonna try them on. I was just gonna go home. And I'm so glad I didn't because it almost makes me question my sense of style that I picked them up because that's how bad they were. Like. And I thought I was doing something. I was like, oh, I got me a good little collection, you know, some basic shirts. I have a lot of work pants. I really just need tops. No. Mm -mm. That just, that really blew me. <sighs> anyway, so it's like 530. I'm about to head back to the mall and go into Sephora so I can actually go in and do my shade matching and all that good stuff I was going to go in after I finished eating my fries but instead I came to Marshall's first because I was gonna wait for my sister to get off work but I was like no let me just run in there real quick um, and I'm glad I did because what a waste um, so I'm gonna go to Sephora and then when Kayla gets off we're gonna go to Bath and Body Works really quick so we can stack uh, stock up on a few candles um and then head back to the house and get ready for the evening cook dinner and get ready for the evening uh this week this uh tonight's hello fresh is pasta but i'll just show y'all one tonight so all right let's go This is new. I've heard a lot of things about this too. I think you're neutral. I did this. I think you're neutral. It goes like this. gonna be too dark. Right. So we're gonna get the shade. Can you put the razor blade in it? And you cover it. Just put it on the little sand. Wow. Uh <laughs> huh. This is my favorite, um, wait, this, someone mix this, yeah, golden nectar with this, and mix it together, and binds. this is like a oil, and then add this on top. Right? 
travel spray set is a 40. Okay. And this is the oil. Mm -hmm. But this is the raw one. Of the oils. And then this is raw on for these. So this one was Mag Madagascar right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, golden nectar. No. <laughs> Okay, I will take that. I'm gonna take both of these. And I'm gonna be done. How are you gonna take my combination? Anyway. Okay. Okay, so this is what I picked up from Sephora. Some sunscreen. I got a refill of the Fenty Skin Butter Drop. I got a jet lag mask since I'm going to be flying again next week. I want to try this out. Y'all, this combination, this is the Madagascar Vanilla Oil, and this is just the Rollerball Perfume and Golden Nectar together. <gasps> It's so good. Honestly, my favorite combo. One of Kayla's coworkers showed her this and then she showed me and I am never not going to have these in rotation. And then I also got some fresh rose uh, sugar, you know, whatever, lip balm. And yeah, this was my little Sephora haul. I also forgot to say that I got a couple samples as well. I don't know what this weird glow is. But I got a few samples as well, so. And now Kayla's calling me because she off work and she ready to go. So now we're gonna, um, we're just gonna head to Bath and Body Works. We're gonna go to my cup of ice. Mm-hmm. About to head to Bath and Body Works to get some candles and then go home, so. All right, y'all, so this is my outfit of the night. We're getting ready to head to the Kit Kat Lounge. So I just have on this crop top from um, Akira. These jeans are from uh, Old Navy, I believe. And then these boots are from DSW or Nordstrom. Actually, these are from Nordstrom. Um, these little croc crocodile skin, super cute. I've had these for a couple years and they're still holding up. So, yes, we are, hold on, we are about to head out now and should get there about 8.30. Did not end up cooking because just didn't have enough, honestly, the day flew by. I feel like, yeah, like where did the time go? But yeah, so we're about to head out now, just eat dinner there, but after tonight, I'm not eating out no more because y'all saw the, the grocery bill from earlier today, so, mm -hmm. yeah, let's go. We missed our reservation. It was at 8.30. We got parked and everything about two minutes ago and it's 9.12. <laughs> so, and everybody else that still not here, so. is in the party is also still not here. So we have to either wait 30 minutes for a new reservation time or we're gonna see if there's another bar like within walking distance. I personally don't mind waiting because I mean 30 minutes by the time we find somewhere else and move the car Child. Where are they going? I'm trying to figure out they're stopping right there Child. Yeah, they're. This is why I stay home. 
<laughs> well, it's already been about 15 minutes, so. Yeah. Well, I was talking about all the police cars. Well, no, stuff, I'm just yeah. saying, like, in general, because I was looking for stuff. But, yeah, like, we might as well just wait, because they still going to have food. Whoa. Where is it? Kit Kat Lounge? Kit Kat Lounge and Supper Club. They've got to. They're open till 2 a.m., so they definitely got to serve food till. At least midnight. Yes. At least 10.